Today, we finally have the famous N22 benchmark result. The new A11 incorporates in three new smartphones, which are Apple iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, and iPhone X. Like Geekbench, Apple A11 and 22 benchmark outcome is again surprising. Let's talk about the Apple A11 Bionic configuration. First, first of all, speaking about the configuration of the processor, A11 is a processor based on a 64 bit hexacore design with a maximum frequency of 2.45 GHz. It consists of two high performance cores and four low power cores. In comparison with the previous A10 Fusion, the high performance cores are 25% faster. Meanwhile, the four low power cores are 70% faster than those of A10 Fusion processor. When working together at the same time, all the six cores generate up to 70% greater performance for multi threaded workloads. And 2 2 official announced the benchmark result of A11, which scored an amazing 2 lakh, 26,000, and 58 points. Once again, Apple defeats all the Android smartphones, which are a shame for ARM CPUs. Apple continues to make great improvements in new generation, and, crosses limits, but ARM never gets that much improvement in the processor lineup, and continues to disappoint. Unlike Geekbench, Untutu score didn't have an overwhelming gap but still a significant one, which is 25% better performance than OnePlus 5. The Android phone which was on the top was OnePlus 5 with a score of, 1,81,000. 507 points, but now, Apple dethrones it, the previous descendant iPhone 7 is still in the top 10 with 1,64,016 points, despite being released a year ago, let's hope Android CPU manufacturers break the trend and beat, A11 performance before a year completes, the only high-end mobile processor left is Kirin 970, to release this October in Huawei Mate 10, but, it seems impossible for Kirin to beat Apple A1. All hopes are now on Kirin 970. We just have to wait and see.